What's up guys, Frank Polci back again with another weekly haul unboxing and collection update video. Before we jump into this small ass haul today, uh, make sure you click on that subscribe button and click on the uh, bell icon to get notifications for all future uploads. Uh, if you watched my video last week, you guys may have heard me say that things are going to be slowing down here, or at least that's the plan, in terms of saving money more so than I have already been, blah blah blah. Um, so this is the start of it. Two packages today, and that's it. Uh, and this one came in the mail today, so I almost only had one. But I did say that was going to happen, so it shouldn't be a surprise. Anyway, welcome guys. Let's jump into this. Hope everyone is doing well today. And uh, first, like I always do, I'm going to do the horror core. You know, it's still horror related. Ah, that sucks. This is beat to shit. Uh, but he sent it to me for free, so I can't complain. Now, this is a new CD by a group called Mausoleum. The name of the CD is Glory's Day for a Funeral, and it's fucking bent to shit. The package itself was kind of beat up, uh, but again, not his fault. Uh, the group consists of two MCs, Face and Sinister, and Sinister was the one that sent this to me. Now, I don't know if this is going to focus, but you should be able to see. It's in a little digi, not digi pack, but like a little envelope type thing. It's not a full jewel case, which is fine. Easier to store, but still a physical copy. Now, this is a great CD. I've listened to it digitally on Spotify a bunch. Uh, yes, it is hardcore, but it's more like hip hop. It's not crazy, weird, grimy voices and fucking really extremely dark beats, but there's some sampling of horror movies and stuff. The lyrics are still, you know, pertain to horror. And uh, yeah, just straight hip hop. These dudes are great MCs. I've been listening to Face for many years. He used to go by Pleather Face. Uh, and uh, Sinister is new to me, but I don't know. I guess they've been around, you know, they've been friends, at least these two guys for a while, and they just finally put a project out together. So happy to have that. He was kind enough to throw in some extra stuff here. It looks like a little, <laughs> that's pretty cool, Pez dispenser. I don't know if that's gonna focus on that at all. A little ghost. Y yeah, you gonna focus, bro? Yeah, no? There it is, ghost face boy. I don't know if that's like a, <laughs> It's a funny, cute little mini Pez dispenser. That's cool. So thank you for that, brother. Appreciate that. And then we have some movies here, guys. Now, this said, this is the one that came today. So this is from Shout Factory. Now, I put in two Shout Factory orders last week. <clears throat> oh, wow. That's fucking very disappointing. Holy shit. This... Oh, my God. This movie just came out. And it doesn't have a slip already. What the fuck? Can someone explain this to me? This King Kong literally just came out. Actually, so recent that I almost thought they were even going to send me a poster anyway. Like, just for the fuck of it. Even though I didn't pre-order. But not only did I not get a poster, which I don't care about. I don't need the poster. There's no fucking slip cover for this? Uh, very, very weird. Um... I'm very excited to see the movie, of course, obviously, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, this movie is still the King Kong, it's one I haven't seen, a version of King Kong I haven't seen, I should say, but the cast in this is pretty fucking awesome, uh, Jeff Bridges, and introducing Jessica Lang, who most people, I would imagine, know her from, uh, American Horror Story and all that shit, but, uh, very excited to see this version of King Kong, again, uh, not sure what's going on with the slip for this, if you guys know, let me know in the comments below, I know, like, yeah, Scream Factory slips... They aren't available after a certain amount of time, but this literally was a May title. We're still in May. Somebody has to explain that to me, so hit me in the comments. This is one that didn't have a slip, so I'm not too upset, obviously. Nothing to be upset about here, but this is one I watched a shitty like VHS rip years ago. Uh, slasher movie with the uh, <laughs> very young uh, debut of fucking Tom Hanks in his picture right there. Uh, he's in it for like two seconds, but He Knows You're Alone is the name of it, obviously, if you guys just saw the cover. Uh, fun little slasher. I don't remember the movie, uh, quite much. I don't really remember the movie at all, but I remember watching it, like I said, had a shitty VHS rip type thing that I had downloaded years ago when I learned about the film. And, uh, it's from 1980, so yeah, it's very old. So, that's it for today's haul in terms of movies and everything else, guys. So, two movies... Again, somebody explain to me what's going on with that fucking King Kong. Oh boy, very pissed off about that actually. And then Hardcore, check these guys out, Mausoleum, M-A-Z-A-L-I-U-M, Mausoleum. Good fucking album and great group. So that is it guys. 
Hit me in the comments below. Subscribe, like I said uh, in the beginning, if you haven't already, give me the thumbs up. Make sure you share this video, share the channel. Even though I will be slowing down, I'm still gonna try to come to you guys as often as I can. Uh, if you would like to support the channel in any way other than just subscribing, liking, and uh, commenting, obviously Amazon wishlist down below, um, social media links down below, all that good stuff. So make sure you check the description and, uh, and hope everyone is doing well again, healthy, healthy, safe, all that good stuff. Until next time, guys, peace out and be good.